today I will be playing Final Fantasy 7 the original um, on the PC I've added some mods and uh, this is a, an archive of a stream I did so come join me on stream sometime thanks for coming <laughs> Alright, so um, I played this before when I was a kid, but it's been a long time. Uh, I played the remake, obviously, but yeah, this is a new experience for me. Uh, I haven't seen, I've set it up a little bit, but I haven't really seen this mod, and there's now voice acting, so let's see how it goes. So far, it looks pretty good, but you know, it's not much there. I mean, this game is pretty great, honestly. So crisp. I don't know how it looks on the screen exactly. Pretty good. Unbelievable. You soldier guys sure are something. Hard to believe we got a guy like you in a group like Avalanche. So, what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? Thought they were the enemy. I wish I could answer that. He isn't Soldier anymore, Jesse. Besides, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. What was your name again? Cloud Strife. Cloud Strife, eh? I'm not interested. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. What did I just say? 
told you to never move as a group. Our targets mark a reactor one. We'll rendezvous at the bridge in front of it. You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gear. Run by holding cancel while using the direction buttons. Damn, that's zoom in. Look at that shit. The models are a little shaky, but the well, it's pretty good. gonna blow this huge reactor? It'll be awesome. That's for sure. So, soldier boy, this your first time in a reactor? Did you forget? I did work for Shinra, remember? <laughs> oh, I remember. I know full well that you've been Shinra's lapdog. Bet you guys just eat up everything they tell you, huh? Like what Marco is. Well, let me tell you what they won't. Marco's not just some energy source. It's the lifeblood of the planet. Translation. And Shinra's using all this no, crap to suck it dry. You're not paying me to listen, so save it. You right. Looks like we gotta keep Lapdog on a tight leash. for me, will ya? Sure. This reactor's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. And one day, it'll all be gone. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Can you really live with that? A little less dynamic. Huh? I can and I will. I'd worry less about the planet, and more about what's waiting for us down there.
this music sounds great. Let's just switch it to remake music. Sorry about that. I have this. Confirm in front of a ladder to grab onto it. Then move up or down this tutorial voice. Very dignified. I'll wait here. Try not to miss me too much, okay? What are you waiting for? Go on already.
Yes, yeah, so this is basically almost fine. I know the story. There ain't gonna be nothing left but a pile of rubble. All right, lapdog. Why don't you set up the bomb? Shouldn't you do this? I'll watch the rear. As far as I'm concerned, you're the one that needs watching. So go on. Do the honors. <sighs> Fine. Rico, this is just a reaction. Sid, what is it? Something wrong? I'm fine. What in the hell? You better not have double crossed us! Attack when its tail is up. It will counter attack with its laser. A little pick me up.
Das ist easy. The alarm. Come on, we gotta move. Five minutes to detonation. His whole body just moves.
gobble them more. Chips. This is pretty good. Jesus Christ. Talk about cutting it close. Ooh, that should keep the planet going. At least a little longer. Yeah! The planet's what matters. This had to have helped! I like wedges. Can't Voice wait to see Marlene. And she's good to go. Now stand clear. Fire in the hole! My house is on fire! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get our asses home! We'll rendezvous on the train. Split up and make your way to Sector 8 station. Alright, now Sephiroth comes. Hey, wait! If it's about your money, you can have it. Once we're back at base. Okay. And into the fire we go. Just kidding. Um... She sounds like. Excuse me. Has something happened? Don't worry about it. It's dangerous. You should leave. Don't it's dang don't it's dick don't it's don't it's don't it's don't it's 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 don't worry about it's dick. Oh dangerous, huh? Guess I shouldn't be selling flowers right now. Don't it's dick don't don't <laughs> All right, sorry. Looks good with the normal models. What's that on the wall? Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy lasts forever. forever. <laughs> Mako is the life of the planet. <laughs> oh my god. It's so deep, it'll all it's come incredible. to an end. Saviors of the planet. planet. Ever. What the huh. fuck? I did not expect that. That's pretty hilarious. What the hell just happened? What? Is that a guy? Okay. What the hell? Wait, where are you going? Come back. Come back. She's trying to talk to him. Hey, you! Shinra military police, eh? <laughs> Can't leave with these guys, you know? They sad, you know? Good. Um, 
definitely in favor of the Japanese voice acting overall. Um, I'll decide that back soon. Slowly turn this out. There he is! <laughs> Just keep fighting. Okay. Sorry, but I don't have time to mess around with you guys. That's enough of your lip. Seize him! Yeet? Oh, what? So we're back to the uh, chibi graphics. I think there's an odd that changes the um, patines as well, but I, I guess I didn't install that. Oops. Guess Clown won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine, right? Guys from Soldier, right? Besides, he wouldn't let anything get in the way of his goddamn cash. That's goddamn right. It'd be good to have him. What do you think, boss? That guy? The hell would I know? I ain't no mind reader. These voice actors are pretty It's because of you screw-ups that I had to hire that jackass in the first place. Oh yeah, Barrett! About our pay! I mean... Boy! I'm so glad we helped the planet! <laughs> uh, is it Goku? That sounds like, um, Goku's voice actor. Cloud! Cloud! Cloud. Freaking, uh, late for our appointment? Sean yeah, you Chang. damn right you late! Come waltzing in here, making a big scene! Chris Savitt. Was giving public security the runaround. Getting everyone worried is more like it! You don't care about no one but yourself! Oh? Such you were worried about me. What? Oh, hell no! That's coming <laughs> out of your shit, hot shot! Yo, people, come on, let's move up. Wedge looks like a little baby. Hey, Cloud? Thanks. It's pretty cute. <laughs> Cloud, let's keep this up for the next mission. Careful. I'll shut this. Oh, Cloud! Your face! It's pitch black. <laughs> there you go. Good as new. I think she went hey, a little low. Thanks for saving me back there at the reactor. Really? This is the last train, departing from set eight. The last stop is six to seven. Train graveyard. All right. Shinra Times? Apparently, the terrorists that bombed the reactor one are hiding out somewhere in the slums. Imagine, bombing a reactor? They must have a really calculating leader. I wonder where they're striking next. You 
You're not a damn kid. Sit down. Looks like the train still isn't switched over to the emergency security system. It'll be a different story tomorrow. Now I'm gonna be famous thanks to Avalanche! Hey, don't you think I've got a bright future ahead of me? Don't hold your- In what way? All my life, I've been nothing but a sidekick. By joining Avalanche and saving the planet, even a guy mm -hmm. like me can make a difference! Hey, Cloud! Wanna look at this with me? It's a display of the train route. Personally, I find... Just so you know, I'm into this kind of thing. Well... Okay, it's about to start. So here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar. It's around 1 to 10,000 scale. Complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. A huge pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are smaller ones for each sector. The smaller pillars are known as mechanical towers. Psst! We destroyed Reactor 1 on the northern edge. They're numbered in order. 2, 3, up to Reactor 8. Which all sustain the whole system and provide electricity to Midgar. Each sector had a name once, but no one remembers them. Today we just use numbers. That's the kind of place this is. Phew! Next we have this. Take a look! This is the route our train's on. The track spirals around the central pillar. Right now, we're about halfway. Each transit point has an ID check area. It scans information from all of the passengers, then cross-checks the data with the host computer at the Shimmer building. Jesse's voice actor's not bad. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. I'm sure she doesn't have that many lines. Speak of the devil. Those red flashes mean we're passing through the ID checkpoint. Psst. Because the lights go out, these trains are full of pervs who can't keep their hands to themselves. Psst. Well, enough about that. We're almost home now. What a relief. Please, you'll bother the other passengers. No, I'll make you a special ID card for the next mission. Looking for All right, I'll give it everything I've got. Something with a little more pizzazz. Take a good look. You can see the surface, but this city looks up at an empty plate. Nothing but a metal sky and ground that don't grow anything. A city that floats in the sky. Pretty unsettling scenery. Oh, never expect to hear that out of you. You're just full of surprises. The world above. A city on a plate. It's because of that great pizza in the sky. The people down here got a struggle to survive. No, I think Jesse said pizzazz. Mark on pollution rains down on them. The air is filthy because it ain't got nowhere to go. And nothing's being done to clean it anymore either. On top of that, the Marco reactors keep pumping out energy. Thanks to them, the land's gone completely barren. Then why doesn't everyone just move up above? I don't know. Probably can't afford to. Or maybe. Cause they don't want to live on a plate. They prefer the land under their feet. No matter how poisoned it is. Yeah, I understand. No one lives in the slums because they enjoy it there. They're like this train. It no can only run the traps have been laid. From a club. If, uh... You know, if, uh... Their house comes underwater from flooding, then they'll just sell their house. Except Cloud gets it, then he's probably opposite. He doesn't make shitty rap songs.
Hey, over here, all of you. That mission was a success, but don't get careless. The big one's still to come. No getting cold feet. Cause the next one's really gonna wake him up. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. I'm not letting you go home tonight. Oh. Oh. How about we take it easy somewhere? Oh. But there's only the train graveyard around here. And they say it's haunted. Damn. What? I'm not letting you go home tonight. Oh. When you've been a train attendant as long as I have, you've seen a lot of people and a lot of situations. People meeting, parting, joy, sadness. After a while, it doesn't even get to you anymore. Hey, what the hell are you doing? What out? Jeez. Oh, you came to see it too? I hear there was a terrorist attack above. Makes you think. If this tower ever came down, the slums would be dust. Well, no use worrying about it, is there? Check it out! It's awesome no matter how many times you look up. You look up. Holy shadow. Nothing bad will ever happen to this thing. Pretty neat here, huh? This is my special place. But feel free to drop by from time to time. Well, take care, bro. <laughs> this is my special place. Clown, over here. Heard what's happened, right? Oh, you've heard what's happened. No. Really? It's been all over the news. There's been a terrorist attack up above, and guess what? The target was a Marco reactor. You know what this means? You guys think the people here will be no? What? Really? You see, I keep on top of things like this, and it stands to reason. When the power's knocked out. Computers, traffic lights, and so on, are going to be knocked out as well. There must have been about, hmm, easily a billion gil worth of damage. And that ain't all. I reckon a lot of innocent bystanders lost their lives. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, well, 
At least they would have gone in their sleep. At any rate, Midgar has... Well, boom! Avalanche is so cool! All right. All right, go on. Oh, come on. What the hell is going on tonight? It's been weird ever since that long blackout earlier. Word is Yo, it was clown. caused by Get some terrorist bomb in the reactor. I was having a quiet beer and watching the news. Yeah. Next thing I know, I'm getting thrown me. out. It really pissed me off. Uh, wow, uh, I I'm blessed. Just can't get enough of those homemade cocktails. <laughs> but they sure do creep up on you. You know, when I'm drunk, I wave my hands while I'm my hands off. It's a bug flow going. Papa! Marlene, aren't you gonna say hello to Cloud? Nope. Uh, is he good over there? Welcome back, on? Cloud. The Looks air? like the mission went well. You didn't argue with Barrett, did you? I kept my cool. Is that so? I'm not used to Cloud all grown up. When you were little, you'd get into fights at the drop of a hat. Thank goodness everyone's all right. Sorry, Cloud. Looks like Marlene's a little shy. Sorry. Ah, nothing like that first drink after a job. <laughs> How about you, Cloud? Care for a drink? Sure. Ah, that's more like it. Even if you were a soldier, you're still a rookie here. Gotta respect seniority. Oh, Cloud! Tifa really knows how to cook! Anyway, I want to tell you something. What's that? Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. <laughs> Look at me now. I'm roly-poly. Don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's good food and drink that puts this place on the map. Oh, Cloud! Tifa really knows how to cook! Huh? Cloud? Big Mountain Dew on the table? Oh, come on. Just look at her. Woo! Good times! I feel all excited! I wonder why. Woo! I... Can I play darts? Just kidding. Sorry. Uh... Sorry, Cloud. Hi, Barrett. Yo! Guys, we're starting the meeting. Isn't that supposed to be an arcade machine? Grab a seat. Okay. So, what'll Just it be? Something to drink? Stuff here. Give me some. Just a second. It'll be ready in no time. You know, 
I'm glad you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? That job was nothing. I guess not. You were in Soldier. Right. Get your money from Barrett, okay? Soldier. Don't worry. Once I've been paid, I'm gone. He's so Cloud, cool. how do you feel? Same as always, I guess. Why'd you ask? Oh, it's nothing. You look a bit tired, that's all. You'd better go below. Oh god, that guy's face is terrifying. Fuck! Look at the news! What a blast! Should there have been so much damage, though? I, don't think she I followed all of the instructions on here. Unless I made a mistake? Also, imagine punching with Barrett's gun hand. Like, wouldn't that hurt? Any. The organization known as Avalanche has claimed responsibility for the bombing of the Marco Reactor 1. According to their declaration, Avalanche intends to continue its reign of terror. However, citizens of Midgar, there is no need for alarm. We at the Shinra Company have mobilized soldiers to protect you from this senseless violence. In doing so... The organization according to... However, we at the Shinra... <sighs> Daybrook! There's something I want to ask you. Were any of your soldier buddies fighting us today? No, none. I'm positive. Well, how's Mr. Confident so sure then? If you guys had fought with Soldier, you wouldn't be alive right now. Don't give me that crap. Just cause you were one of them. Mm. Yeah, you're strong. Maybe all them guys in Soldier are. But don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Don't be getting no ideas about crawling back to Shinra. The hell you on? You asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. I'm going back up. And I want to talk about my money. Alright. Thank you so much for joining. Um... I'll be back, definitely. I'll be streaming the rest of this, I think, and uh, there's a few more videos, at least one, before that's done anyway. Thanks again for joining. Bye-bye.